Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Flambient, so let's get into it. All right, so on my channel, I talk about real estate photography, so if that's a topic you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Today, I'm gonna to go over a lengthy comment I got about uh, Flambient, let's see. So this is a video, should new real estate photographers shoot flambient style, right? So for those that aren't familiar, flambient is a more complex style, right? Where you use lighting, multiple exposures, the editing takes a while. If you search the internet, how to edit flambient, you're gonna watch somebody edit a single image for 30 minutes. That's how it typically goes. But anyways, it's more complex. Uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez says, let's not make this rocket science. It's photography after all, I would say flambient technique are a waste of time and money. Why? Because it looks virtually the same as a bracketed HDR. So I'll stop right there. There is definitely, uh, in my opinion, drastic differences between HDR and Flamby. I think Flamby is better, um, a better end product, uh, but it takes significantly longer. And is that increase in quality really going to make that big a difference for your clients? I guess that, that's something that you have to uh, think about. So anyways, we'll continue. Uh, there is very little difference and very few people can actually spot them. I don't care how great a photographer someone is. You don't need it. I ditched flash a while ago and it's the best decision I ever made. I started with the flambient technique. I was not happy with the results. Uh, get in the house and get the job done and get out. You don't need extra lighting sources. So I'll pause right there since it's kind of long. Um, you know, he actually started shooting with the flambient technique and I, I did and I started shooting HDR. Uh, so I, I would agree as somebody that's brand new and you're just going in, it sounds like he got really tired of how lengthy the editing process, the shooting process, everything is just so much longer. And for what, at the end of the day, um, ultimately what matters is what your customers think about the product that you're delivering to them, right? Cause they're the one paying for you. So anyways, let's keep going. Um, use them. You can, sorry, let me move this up because I got a block here. Okay. Use them. You can uh, you can properly light any room without all the gizmos and gadgets that you're going to spend a pretty penny on. Save your money in, and for something better, I think flash is suited for certain types of photography, but not real estate. You know, I, I disagree. Like I, 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 like I said, there are definitely uses for flash and real estate photography to create a better result. That being said, I think there are people out there that are getting phenomenal results with just HDR. Granted, it might take longer to, uh, to edit, uh, but if you're delegating that to somebody else and that's what they specialize in, if doing all the, the manipulation, all the window pulls and stuff like that with HDR, then you can go that route, it just saves you some time um, in the field, so. Anyways, just, I, you know, I, I don't think there's a, a right or wrong technique. I think you just gotta look yourself in the mirror and, and figure out, you know, what works for you and your clientele. How much are you charging? How much time are you spending? Kind of break it down. Last thing you wanna do is spend five hours per property and charge a hundred bucks. And then, you know, after your gas and overhead and all this kind of stuff, you're not making very much money at all. So I think it's a business decision you can, you can uh, do that technique, as, you know. You know, ultimately what really matters most is what your customers think, right? Do your customers care about certain things? Um, so anyways, that's just my opinion. Um, but I also think it's important for you to, to know what your goals are for business, right? Are you trying to scale a more complex process or are you just trying to shoot as many homes per day as you can? Um, I think those are all valid questions you need to ask yourself before deciding exactly what photography technique you're going to be shooting. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you got value, hit the like button. See you guys on the next one.